Okay, this is the notes for 11.3 area of trapezoids. What you can see here is I made a trapezoid. Um, a trapezoid, by definition, has one set of parallel sides. Next thing I'm going to do is something similar. If you saw what I did with the triangle, I'm going to put a midpoint on one side, and then I'm going to reflect this figure about that point. Hopefully it works. There we go. All right, so now we look at this new figure, and this new figure is a parallelogram. Okay, and I can prove that if, if you're not exactly sure if I can prove it. Um, I'm going to type in here, we're going to call this base 1. I'm going to call this one base 2. And we know that the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So the height, we know if how to do that. That would be dropping the perpendicular here. Okay, so that would give me the height. Now for the base of the entire parallelogram, that would be this base here plus the length of base 1 because remember that's what this is. It's a congruent figure. So my area of this entire parallelogram would be the height times base 1 plus base 2 because that makes the entire base of the parallelogram. But remember, I'm not really looking for the area of this pig parallelogram. I'm looking for the area of a trapezoid. So what would you do to that formula? Well, you would just divide it by 2 because the parallelogram is made of two trapezoids. So that's where our formula is going to come from for the area of a trapezoid. So the area of a trapezoid is 1 half times the height, which is here, times the product of the, or not the product, I'm sorry, the sum of the bases. And you saw that in the previous picture here, again, coming from the area of a parallelogram. The, the parallelogram has a entire base of the sum of those bases. A few notes with that. The bases of the trapezoid are always the parallel sides, and the height of a trapezoid is the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides. So it's um, not necessarily one of the sides. It's the perpendicular distance between the two. So what I have here are two trapezoids, and what I'd like you to do is to find the area of each of these. I'd like you to try it on your own, do your best, and then come back for an explanation. Okay, over here, um, what I did is I dropped a perpendicular here and here. Um, that created a 30, 60, 90 triangle here, which helped me to figure out the length of this little piece right here and the height of the trapezoid itself at 4 root 3. I dropped another perpendicular here that helped me figure out this little side was 4. And in the middle, I have a rectangle. So if this is 8, the opposite side is 8. That makes the entire base 16, 4 plus 8 plus 4. So to find the area of the trapezoid, I'm going to have 1 half times the height, times the sum of the bases, 16 plus 8. So you should have gotten 48 root 3. In the next one, I did it again. This was a perpendicular. I probably should have drew a right angle in there. Um, I'll do that right now. So I drew, drew an altitude, split it into a right triangle again. This is a special right triangle, so I was able to figure out the length of this and the length of the height. I had created a rectangle over here, so opposite sides are congruent. That's 4. So the area of the, para of the trapezoid is going to be 1 half the height times the sum of the bases. So you should have gotten 16.5. Okay, over here I have four more examples. And again, I'd like you to, you can push pause, read the problems, draw pictures where you need them. And I'd like you to try to work on these yourself and then come back for the answers. Okay, in this problem, sorry, ugh, the area of a trapezoid, it gave us the height, so I plugged that into the formula, gave us the bases, so I added those together. You should have gotten 70 as your answer. In the next one, a very poorly drawn parallelogram, but make sure to follow that it told you TP and RA were the parallel sides. That means they're the bases. Angle 6, angle T was 60, and I labeled everything in red that I was given. Um, I drew another altitude here to make a right triangle. 
and I used what I knew about right triangles to determine the height of the trapezoid was 4 root 3. Then I just plugged into the formula 1 half, the height, which is the 4 root 3, multiplied by the sum of the bases 10 plus 25. And that gave me an area of 50 root 3. In isosceles trapezoid ABCD, the legs are 8, the bases are 6 and 14. So I drew it, that's what's in blue. I dropped two altitudes down at right angles. Now, this is 6, and I made a little rectangle in here, so I knew this part was 6. And since it's an isosceles trapezoid, I do know that these triangles are congruent. If you're not sure why they're congruent, I, again, I can talk you through that. And then I used, I said, okay, well, if this is, whole thing is 14 and this is 6, then I have 8 left to split up equally between these two parts. So that means I took the 8, and that makes this part 4 and this part 4. And then you can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the height, which is 4 root 3. So again, the area is 1 half, the height, times the sum of the bases, and you get 40 root 3 for the area. Now number 4 is a little tricky. Um, it gives us the area and asks us for the median. Now if you remember, the median is equal to the average of the two bases. And then I wrote the formula for the area here, the area of a trapezoid. Do you see that part of the area formula has the median formula in it? So then I plugged in area was 75, I plugged in the height was 5. But from this step to this step, I just divided both sides by 5. Okay? And so I was left with 1 half the sum of the times the sum of the bases, or I'm, yes, equals 15. And I said, well, wait, that's exactly what the median, so it's kind of like substitution. So the median is 15. I actually can't determine what the bases are. I don't know what they are. I just know that the median is 15. There's actually a lot of possibilities for what the sum of the bases could be or what each base could be. Okay, make sure to check the website for the homework problems. And that is the end of 11.3.